Hi! Wow, I spent a while choosing that hashtag. <laughs> yeah, you can all tell, can't you, when I'm choosing a hashtag, but I'm not live yet. Forgot about that. Oops. Oh, there's like this incredibly annoying, like, two second lag. Oh, that's so infuriating. Wow, how do I cope with this? I don't know. Okay, tweeting. Let's see if this worked. Okay. Uh, is my bedroom messy? You guys were bullying me last week about my bedroom. Jesus. Dan, make the bed. Dan, there's a sock on the floor. All right, mums. Jesus. Um, <clears throat> blasphemy in the echo. Hello everybody and welcome to the live show. 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 Hello everybody. Wow. It's done. There we go. Hi everybody, how are you? I spend so long deciding what to tag the show with and deciding how to tweet the show every week. You don't need to. They put me in hashtag humor. I could just use that. And there is an auto tweet when you sign into you now. I should just use it, shouldn't I? Mm. First question of the day comes from Irish girl Sarah who says, Hi Dan, do you miss the two hour radio show? Mmm. I miss that we got to hang out with you guys for two hours because it really felt like we were giving you like a whole evening of entertainment almost. And I like that it was on a Sunday. Um, I think that an hour, it's a better show because um, you can cram things in more, you know, keep it the best. But I miss the callers because I love, you know, like, you know, like, the chat radio on Grand Theft Auto. If any of you guys have ever played Grand Theft Auto 3 or Vice City or San Andreas or even the new one actually, specifically Grand Theft Auto 3 there was this radio station called Chatterbox FM and it was like a parody of a chat radio station in America and it was so funny and it was just the magic of who's gonna cool up, what are they gonna say um, and yeah that's what I liked about it. Anyway What's your... Okay, we'll get to that. The number one fan is that Maddie Dork. Hello, Maddie. How are all of you, though? Let me know how you're feeling right now in a word. <laughs> Hit me. Da -da 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 -da. What's that song that starts with? Hit me. What's that? Hold... Hold My Breath by Destiny's Child. Sorry, just going on a personal adventure there. In Terrabang, I said, can you feel in Terrabang? I feel totoro -y. I feel sumptuous. <laughs> nice. I feel DDR. Ugly. Duckling, fantastic. Bored, tired. Maryland, full. Whisk. Well, we all know that was coming, didn't we? Um, <laughs> Freaking zazzed and lonely. Okay, wow. Um, so I had a haircut, like, three hours ago. So... Uh, Excuse me if I look flat or voluminous or messy because it, it was very rainy today um, But thanks said the song is Wesley's theory. No, it was it was it was hit me. That doesn't oh it does actually Hit me boom many songs probably start with hit me to be honest It's just that you had a relevant reference to go on and I was thinking about a destiny's child song from the mid noughties um <laughs> So, what's the thing? Look at me, got my Ravina, I'm ready to go. What's, what do you want to talk about? Mmm. I'm wearing earrings, yeah. I forgot, I, I thought I lost them. Because I was just remembering how so many of you complain that I don't, I'm joking. Um, haven't worn them in a while. Kind of true. For at least four months I thought I'd lost them. But then I just checked in my bedside drawer, and they were there. 
So there we go. That's literally how lazy I can be at times. I, I think I've lost something for months at a time, and it is in the first place I would look for it. I just don't do that. <laughs> uh, Dan, how do you read the chat when it's going so fast? Years of training. Years of training. It's just like a constant, you know, it's like a Sherlock mind palace and it's saving it all. Kaylee Graceffa said, can you say guacamole? There we go. Or is it guacamole? Shirin Yoku said, favorite I am, am I, who am I song? Hmm. O? Or is it T? Or is it Y? Or is it play? Or, no, it's Shadow Show. It's it's Shadow Show. But, because I'm a hipster, I'm, okay, right, there's a, okay, this is gonna, no one knows what I'm talking about. Um, there's a version of Shadow Show that's not the one that was on Blue, or the acoustic one that she played on that little th electric thing in the In Concert film. There's one that has, ah, uh, they performed it live once on their first tour that I didn't want to go to, and it's, their best song, and I would actually murder someone for a studio version of it. What's your favourite thing about Sweden? Says Ash Almighty. Yes! I was in Sweden this weekend. That was quite funny. Uh, it was quite fun. As you guys may have heard, I am currently making a TV documentary film about eSports. That's the people that are the best at video games in the entire world, if you don't know, who basically get paid to play it and win tournaments. And it's an interesting and exciting story because nobody is aware of that, apparently, even though hundreds of millions of people um, watch it. So it's a really cool documentary. But it's funny because th the way that TV works, as I've mentioned before, is they usually don't talk about things until they're about to come out. Whereas I like to tell people what I'm up to unless it's a deliberate surprise as it's happening. Otherwise everyone's like, why are you in Sweden? Uh, so, they're yet to formally announce it, I think, and yeah, I'm just telling you, because otherwise it's like, Dan, why are you in Sweden? Um, so I went to Stockholm, because that's where the European finals of the summer LCS split for League of Legends was happening in the playoffs before Worlds, and other sentences that no one understood. Uh, so I got to go to Stockholm, which is amazing, because I'm incredibly infatuated with Sweden. Um, their musical export, Hi Mama, Who Am I, Robin, Roiksop. Um, Swedish crime drama, Swedish crime novels. I just love Swedish crime, fictionally. It's really great. Very aesthetic, isn't it, Sweden? Um, and I spent the morning in the very pretty area called the Old Town, which is on an island. And it was really great, but I, um, I couldn't stay there for ages because I was filming all day, every day, so that's a shame. But I want to go back. So, people of Stockholm, be, like, emotionally prepared for Dan to just randomly visit again <laughs> whenever I feel compelled to do it. Da -da -da -da. Let's check some messages. What's on your bed? It's a candle. It's one of the things that I got given to me at Summer in the City. Um, of the many things that I did, uh, I wish I, I don't have time to <laughs> uh, make a video going through all of them. But as always, as I would say to you guys, I always read every letter, and open everything. Um, and that was one of the things, a candle. Mm, haven't lit it yet, just been sniffing it in bed. Yep, that's fine. Doodly Memes says, love you daddy, thank you very much. How was your day, little squish, said Emily vs Daisy. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a good day. Got a haircut, immediately got rained on. Always a great um, sequence of events. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Yes, but not like properly, just like randomly. I should watch it into. I have been really out of the loop in Adventure Time. I think it's because me and Phil watched. Am I supposed to say Phil and I? I just don't like it. Aesthetically, there's something about. There's just something about how <clears throat> name and I looks. I don't know, man. <laughs> Did you agree? Ugh. Hmm. Much in the vein of, you know, choose when to use grammar, when not to use grammar. No caps lock when you're being, you know, informal on the internet. There's just something about, like, if I was to be, like, PJ and I, it's like... It just doesn't look good. Even, I uh, anyway. I read once that me and someone is technically grammatically correct, but God, I don't know. <clears throat> Grade A student in English literature. English language? I had no idea. I think that, like, honestly, 
so much of your education is really important when you're young and they explain really obvious things to you. Pause for siren. Cans to do niche. Um, and, for example, I didn't pay attention in one algebra class when they explained, like, the fundamental explanation of algebra in, like, year nine, and then I just didn't understand it through that the whole of my GCSEs until I tried to learn myself, and then I finally understood it. I think it's the same thing. I don't... Un semicolons. I don't think I paid attention that one time in school where they explained what semicolons do, and I don't understand how to use semicolons. You know what I mean? Very relatable conversations there. Semicolons. When's the FNAF 4 vid going to be up, says Rebecca? I bet this is a hot topic. So, um, Phil hinted on Twitter that we had filmed a gaming video related to a particular bear with a snazzy top hat. Mm. Don't know what he could have been referring to there. Um, Phil did want to upload this video at the weekend but I was in Sweden and I wanted to watch it and see if there was any stupid Comic Sans that I could put on it. So you can blame me for it not being up on the weekend because I felt like it may have needed some Comic Sans. So uh, I'm g <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's probably going to be tomorrow. Yeah, um, You know, well, it, more than Comic Sans, but it's definitely some... You know, you know, just my my trashy editing always improves it. Obnoxious zooms instead of jump cuts, all those awful things that I do. Uh, Dan, are you going to Reading Festival? Say Coco to MP3. Not this year. I feel like the music isn't iconic as it used to be. I don't know what's the lineup this year. Reading Festival lineup. I know that Kendrick's there. That's a bit random. I guess these days, like the the general population's balance of what genres of music they listen to has blurred. So, you know, there aren't just people that listen to rock, you know, people that listen to, like, good music would listen to pop and indie and electronic and rap, you know. So I feel like a lot of people that just like good bands, probably like Kendrick Lamar, but then it is being headlined by the Libertines, which is like a throwback to the absolute indie circle jerk. Ugh. God. <laughs> There's some deplorable... Uh, stereotypes of people that listen to the same music in the UK and everywhere around the world. Let's see. Wow, there's mm, okay. Alt J, yeah, that's good. Panic, ATL, good Tringe, right? That's funny. They're quite high up. Metallica, bring me the horizon under Metallica. Jeez, I last saw Metallica headlining Reading Festival in was it 2008? And now they're headlining it again in 2015 and haven't released any new music. I think that Metallica... I hear that Metallica are just relentlessly touring to pay off their flopped movie that they made. Um, this is something that I've heard. But a lot of old bands that feel like they can't make new music to the level that they used to in their prime just tour, which is fine, I guess, but I'd have no reason to keep doing that. Baby Metal, hilarious. Uh, Limp Biscuit, hilarious. Run the Jewels, amazing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, Dead Mouse, funny, years and years, Jamie XX. Ooh, that would be good. Um, a Ball Nation. Let's see, yeah, mm, uh, mm, yeah, okay. Uh, no, I'm not going this year. How was Sweden? It was great, Beth, thank you. It was beautiful. I wish I could have stayed for longer. Alas, no. Um, what's the favourite person you've ever interviewed? Favourite person I've ever interviewed? Um, I mean, I think it was the coolest to meet Fallout Boy. Uh, probably. Just thinking about my past. And what I used to listen to. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I interviewed so many people. Taylor Swift was really nice. Ariana Grande was really hilarious. Nick Jonas. We bonded. We really did. We were sat on a sofa next to each other for like an hour. While Phil was getting ready and having a break. And they... they his team brought him too early. And we just sat on this couch talking about life. It was deep. Um, <laughs> Whisk, thanks. How many blogs do you follow on Tumblr? Like 500 or something. No idea. Listen to Jess Glynn's new album. That's a thing, isn't it? I'll make a note. Cheeky note. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, sorry for my awful 
photo that I tweeted earlier. I don't know why. I thought like, hey, I, I never post enough photos on Instagram because I never go outside or do anything interesting. And then there I was in Sweden, took a, took a snazzy photo that I butchered on Instagram. It looks good from like this far away. It's like, wow, look at that photo that Dan posted on Instagram of him in the street. That's it. And then you look close and you're like, this wasn't taken on. Da oh my, Dan, did you do all of that on Instagram? The closer you look, the more horrific the photo is. Um, so then this morning I was like, hey, I'm outside getting my hair cut. Guess that's a good enough excuse for a It wasn't a great photo. And uh, wow, the reply is earlier. Jeez, um, I'm just, I'm so sorry to everybody and myself. Anyway, uh, how was Sweden? Amazing, Mary. I want to go back. Fave quote, Jesus. I don't have a single favorite quote. I don't have a single favorite anything. I'm a terrible person to ask what's your favorite anything. Um, too many good things in the world. I like too many things. Someone said, what's your opinion on the Drag Me Down video? <laughs> um, funny. Good, cool. Wow. They're in NASA. You know, it looked good. I didn't feel like... It was that, like... <sighs> like, it was kind of about nothing. It was just so irrelevant. It's like... Okay, like, they can't drag me down because I'm literally, like, shooting really far up into space. Like, is that, like a connection, I, I guess, or something. I just felt like there wasn't really much to it other than it being cool that they went to NASA. You know what I mean? It's like, it wasn't... It wasn't the best song ever video. It wasn't the Night Changes video, which was just incredible. You know what I mean? It's like, you, you're One Direction, you're making a music video. The Night Changes video. Wow. What a great video. Um, th I still like the song. I think that the, I'm, I'm going to adjust my hair so much in this show. I'm sorry. I just have no idea what I look like. Oh, dear. There's like a tiny reflective piece of glass on the other side of the room because my mirror is covered with a giant towel. Um, Night Changes was horrible. Wow. What, the video or the song? The I thought the, wow, opinions on Night Changes. Are you excited for what do you mean? Night changes sucked, Dan. Ugh, okay, rude. Uh, what is what is wrong with all you? Why is everybody saying night changes sucked? This that was the most amazing. Okay, right. It was problematic in like nine ways, but the concept was amazing. Role playing, Jesus hell. What? That it was it was fan service. Don't complain. It was literally like the the most incredible fan service in the music industry of like the last decade. Um, Please tell me if I don't understand why it's terrible. <laughs> uh, what, what are we talking about? Oh, hiatus. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. It's inevitable, though. Happens to all groups. Happens to happens to everything. You know what I mean? Bands go on hiatus. Smashing Pumpkins. Metallica. My Chemical Romance. One Direction. You just... You can't trap people in a five-person box forever and expect it to all be the same. You know, it's like when people relentlessly make music and go on tour, like especially touring, um, it must be so relentless and you know, your life's just the same and it's fun growing for like three albums, but then I guess people are like, you know, it'll just happen. It doesn't mean the end. Um, they will definitely return for a tour like the Spice Girls. Uh, I feel like, depending on how Zayn feels, they'll probably definitely re do a tour with Zayn in 20 years when um, they maybe want to make more money. Or just want to have fun, do something for the fans. You know, when uh, when all of the young teen One Direction fans turn into, you know, 30-year-old women with disposable income, time for another tour. Defo. No need to be so cynical, though. Favourite baker in Great British Bake Off? The nerd that keeps getting uh, Star Baker. He just seems like a really nice guy. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? But ba 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 FNAF, yep, okay. <laughs> Waterfall of people. Do you have synesthesia? I don't think so. Not really. I, um... 
I guess when I see a number in my head, I can picture it as a colour. Uh, same with words. I don't just imagine things in black and white. Because how can you imagine things? What are you doing? Are you spelling? When people say, like, when you imagine a number, are you imagining a colour? It's like, what, are you imagining that someone's, like, typed out the number? Like, you, like it's like, what font do you think in? You know what I mean? It's like, I, I think of 36 in Times New Roman, and it's green. What a weird question. Da -da -da. Congrats on five mil, says Beth. Thank you, Beth. That happened, didn't it? Uh, obviously. Very happy and proud about that. I mean, like... Why am I not one of those YouTubers... Who makes a video crying every milestone? Nothing wrong with that. I really love that. I think it's very sincere and lovely. Um, I don't know. Too sarcastic. Uh, too cynical. Um, and also... I don't like... I find it, you know, don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Um, I'm not saying it's embarrassing or whatever, but, uh, well, no, you know what I mean? It's just I don't like making a big deal about mm, my own milestone or whatever. But obviously, as I'm sure you all know, I'm incredibly appreciative. And the fact that the official supportive hashtag from you guys was peer pressuring me to get a dog. Uh, was quite iconic and really made me appreciate the sense of humour of my audience because, to be honest, that's quite incredible, isn't it? Number one is still that Maddy Dork, someone said who else is in the box, then Anna Heater, then Laura Ann, then Laritza, then Katie Crockett. Hi, Katie, Laritza, Lara, Anna Heater, and Maddy. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Do, 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 do. Thoughts on the F1 Belgian Jean P? I didn't watch it because I was watching the esports. It's time consuming sports. Don't know about you. I mean, say what you. I mean, like YouTube. It's one of those things. It's like TV versus books. Why do you watch TV instead of books? Because it's easier and it's quicker. You know what I mean? Why do people choose to watch YouTube videos because they're really quick whereas watching sports games is like really long like Jesus when I was watching League of Legends this weekend they played for five hours and if you want to like stay up to date on that whole scene it's your entire life and Formula One I'm a bit like I'm really into Formula One so I will you know like Check all the news on the BBC Sport website, and then I'll go on Reddit and see what everybody's talking about on the Formula One subreddit. And then I'll see all the practice news, and I'll catch up on all the, um, you know, gossip that is apparently excitingly happening. And then I'll watch the qualifying, and then I'll watch the, sh you know, the and oh my god, it takes hours, it takes entire weekends. Whereas YouTube is only 5 to 20 minutes long at a time. But the thing is, this is the point that um, I was going to make. It's kind of like app gaming versus sitting down playing games. You might think to yourself, I don't have the time to sit down and start an RPG right now. Because I don't want to just start something that's going to take 50 hours. But then you'd like play apps on your phone for like 10 hours for an entire week. And that's because it feels easier. But then you just spend so much time doing it. YouTube is exactly the same. It's like, you tell yourself... Oh, I don't want to watch a three and a half hour movie. I'm just going to go on YouTube. And then because it's only five minutes at a time, it feels easier. But then you spend like literally nine hours on YouTube. You know what I mean? It's all about attention span. Give yourself, you know, I'm going to watch on video, then go on Twitter, then go on Tumblr, then see if anyone's messaging me on Facebook and then check WhatsApp. And then I'm going to go back on YouTube and I'm going to little breaks. Keeps you doing. Maybe if you want to make this uh, come back to something, that's how we should revise. You know what I mean? Instead of looking at an entire folder full of notes and thinking, God, I need to do all of that, that's impossible. Just do a paragraph, then, you know, go on Twitter. Then a paragraph, put something in your Tumblr queue. Then a paragraph, before you know it. Might seem less intimidating. Bullshit, as if you're ever going to start doing that, to be honest. Um, I love those little block letters that someone just typed fringe check into the chat with. Thank you, Cherry Girl 90 that's funny, I appreciate that. Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 fix your bed. No. Stop cyberbullying me. Help me with school. There you go. That's what I have to offer. 
Mm. Contemplative silence while Dan sips his Ribena. Slightly too much Ribena in that mix for me. Casper Pineapple. I haven't seen that video yet. It's on YouTube. Uh, I was like... <laughs> Oh, it's up. Everyone's talking to me. No. Um, yeah, Casper hit 5 million subscribers. Oh, it is up. I haven't actually watched this. I'm not going to live watch this now. Uh, anyway. Casper Lee made a happy 5 million subscriber video. And it was an amazing idea. Um, and I love Casper. I think he's really great. So I'm very happy for him. I'm happy that he asked me to be in his video. And I'm going to watch the, the final version of it after I finish talking to you now. Uh, what is your second favourite dog breed? I haven't really thought about that. I just kind of decided that she was my favourite. Um, very hypocritically, after saying that I don't have um, favourite anythings. I'm falling off my chair. I'm falling off... Nope, 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 it's fine. Beagle, said somebody. Should it be Beagle? Okay. <laughs> uh, dog. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I leave for uni in two days. Advice? Be shockingly more social than you think you're capable of because people are just desperate to have friends. I saw something really cool earlier on the New York Times website about the making of Where Are You Now? Uh, it's, like, uh, it's like a little video that they just made talking about um, how they made it. S open up a tab and Google Justin Bieber, Diplo, Skrillex, New York Times and they made an article called Justin Bieber, Diplo and Skrillex Make a Hit and it's just really fascinating. Uh, it makes you appreciate the song. Justin's new music, very curious for that because without having a single opinion on Justin Bieber I quite liked his last album. Uh, so let's see what happens there. Wow, such haircut, very trim, much moist. Mm. Get a dog or be a dog. I don't... Okay, right, here's the thing, guys. I'd love to get a dog. I don't intend on getting a dog because I'm not, I'm not a functional person. I can't look after myself, never mind a particularly, apparently difficult breed of dog to attempt to think. And the thing is, I know I'd be... I know I'd be getting a dog to fill a hole, you know what I mean? It's like when you're trying to save a relationship by having a child or get married or something like that. It's like, you don't just save a relationship by having a child. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I have a virtual hug, said Coco.mp3. There you go. Did you try the Miracle Berry too? I did before Phil made his video. It was quite incredible. Uh, if you haven't seen, Phil made a video with Tyler Oakley, it's very funny, <laughs> where they tried this weird thing called the Miracle Berry, which is basically this pill made from these weird berries that subvert the bits of your tongue that taste different things and trick them into the... Because it's how the fuck the tongues work. I don't even know. Um, but anyway, apparently you can just eat this berry and it changes how you taste things. Uh, and it makes onions taste like apple, it makes vinegar taste like strangely acidic Fanta, and lemons and limes, holy crap, like, I had this Miracle Berry thing, and I bit into a lemon, and it was like the best lemonade I'd ever had in my entire life, and I ate three lemons. I ate three lemon. I just, I was just like, this is delicious. But then I thought, I probably just drank so much citric acid, I'm gonna melt, slash my teeth are gonna dissolve. Heartburn much, said Claire. Yes, exactly. Um, don't have too many lemons, people. Dan Senpai, please notice me. I saw this incredible video earlier. There's this guy who is an actor who made this character who is like this weird nerd, kind of like brony gamer kind of guy that's really weird. And he goes to conventions and things and goes to places where news crews will be and deliberately tries to get filmed 
just acting really weird um, without people understanding. And it was like, I saw on Facebook, because there was this video that was just the most incredible thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. Uh, let me, do I have it here? Yeah, you can search E3 dash Weird Gamer Guy original and a girl called Tessa Smash uploaded it of him being interviewed at E3 and also the uh, page that I like on Facebook called Being Noticed by Senpai played a news report called Controversial Statue of Satan unveiled in Detroit and it's like literally the funniest thing I've ever watched in my entire life. Anyway, um, and today's things that Dan mentions that are incredibly hard to write down when he asks you to check them out. Hi Dan. Hi Pikachu is not on fire. Your new merch is amazing. Thank you Psycho Halter. I wasn't even going to bring up Dan and Phil's shop. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's close in the battle. What did you say? Oh, 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 okay. The, the top fans are That Maddy Dork, still number one, and then Anahita number two, then Laura, then Loritza, then Katie Crockett. Thanks for competing. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the merch. So, the thing is, me and Phil actually, like, design and approve of this merch ourselves, and the problem of wanting to have complete creative control over everything when you're doing lots of things is it then takes a while. If we just let whoever was running our merch just make the merch, then we'd probably have more. But in a maybe good way, you know, me and Phil, we really care. We come up with all the ideas, we oversee the graphic design, we check the samples, we iterate on them. We've literally, like, the llama t-shirt and the lime t-shirt, been making that since like February or whatever, because it's about finding the llama and the lime pictures, about choosing the size of the pocket, about, you know, choosing the different t-shirts, and it's really good. And the necklace, it's like we came up with the design, we chose, we went through like loads of different shapes of the necklace, we asked for samples, we changed the chain like three times, we changed the size of the necklace, we had to make sure that it was perfect for an averagely necked person to pull up and hold next to their face. And the bags are amazing, because we were just going to make bags. And then Martin um, was like, hey, Phil, Spiral, your favorite bag makers, send you bags. Why don't you speak to them? And Phil was like, no way, that would never work. Because Phil really loves these people called Spiral Bags that make bags. Um, and they are they're amazing bags. They're really cool. And we just spoke to them and we were like, would you want to do that? And they said yes, which is insanely cool. So... We said to them, like, oh, wow, can we do this with a Pixel one? And then me and Phil, we spent an entire evening on Google trying to find our favourite Galaxy <laughs> picture. Uh, and then they turned them... And they're... Oh, I wish I had one now. See, I didn't plan the promo. Bad. Tyler would be ashamed of me. Um, they're so cool. They have, like, little labels that say, like, Dan and Phil in collaboration with Spiral all over them. Genuinely, I, I think they're really good. Obviously, the thing is with merchandise is that you you don't have to get it if you don't want it. So there's no, you know, it's <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but if you do like it, thank you, because we like it. And yeah, that's cool. So um, we hope that you like the, the, the whiskers necklace is amazing. Um, and the bags are just like, if you want a good bag, Right, spiral bags are like good bag, and that llama and lion t-shirt, mmm, it's like, you know, you can rep a little bit of Dan or Phil out in public just by wearing a cool looking t-shirt that you might find at Topshop or Urban Outfitters or something, but no one would know that you're secretly a YouTube stalker. I mean, that's really, that's the way to do things. Uh, <laughs> thanks for bringing that up. Why is there a lampshade on a teddy bear? Horrifying science experiment gone wrong. It's like two things went into a time machine. Only one came out. And flower crowns, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I chose the flowers that went on the flower crowns. I <laughs> that, that wasn't something that I needed to spend time doing. Uh, yeah, they're not, they're not just any flower crowns. Um, I was like, white and pink. Because black flowers, that'd look a bit gross, even though, you know, that'd be my aesthetic. But white and pink, that's good. Uh, mm. Yeah, anyway, um... Thanks for bringing that up. 
Random question, what's your favourite number, said Carrie Dinks. I don't have a favourite number, there's so many numbers. Pi. It's infinite. There we go. You're very much pastel stuff. Pastel's acceptable. You know what I mean? When it comes to colours for me, it's like... Something can be mostly monochrome with like a colour. I mean, I do have a, I do have that garish... Look, it was about to happen. Uh, MIA t-shirt. I'm just going to rotate this slightly. There we go. Um... But yeah, you know, it's like something could be completely black or white with just, you know, the hint of a, a, a nice pastel blue or pink or something. Anyway, um, do do do. I like the haircut. Thanks, Rebecca. Dill is turning one soon, growing up before our eyes. Can you even. When did we start the gaming channel? I don't even know. Let me check, let me check. I don't know. Where's the trivs? Not in my mind. Spelt my own channel wrong. Mute that. Jesus. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Date added oldest to newest. 11 months ago. Uh oh. It is the 12th of September. Okay. When is... Okay, that's there. Mmm. Mmm. Anniversary. I don't... I don't... Um. Birthday. It's not an anniversary. <laughs> Anniversary. The date. It's National Dananful Games Day. Donkey Kong. Wow. Monkeying around. Dananful play. Donkey Kong Country. Tropical Freeze. We really made a good shout getting that microphone and that different camera, didn't we? Love from Russia. Hi, amazing Valerie. Is it cold? Do you think they'll make a Sims 5? Yes. I think that our series will probably continue until Sims 5 comes out. <laughs> Who knows? What is on your bed? It's a candle. Uh, do you believe in aliens? Yes, stirring fandoms. Uh, I, you know, in this infinite unit. Of course there's aliens. Of course there's aliens. Advice for gap year existentialism. Mm. Set goals so you don't just wallow in loneliness the whole time. Like, set exciting goals... Work for six months so you can travel for one month if you if you need to. Think about what you want to do after. I mean, like a gap year, I used it to make sure that I'd get into a really amazing course at university and some, you know, starting a YouTube channel. But that was just very Jack's gap. That was just, I've got the time, why not? Do some, you know, you go on a gap year, make a YouTube channel, start doing something, take up ski lessons. Investigate all the possible options for the future of your life. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. I'm eating M&M's. I don't like M&M's that much. I don't know why. Bowl cut. Do you know what a fucking bowl looks like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does aesthetic mean? There is a Wikipedia definition. Aesthetics. Aesthetics is a branch of philosophy dealing with the nature of of art, beauty, and taste. So, the aesthetic of something is kind of like the definition of what someone considers to be beautiful, what someone's personal taste is in things, the vibe of it, the visual theme of it, all those kind of things. Tell me about the pillow or fight me. What, what, who, what is a Haru? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, do... Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's a very nice thing to say. Thank you. Amelie said, please use your second channel more. Intend to? I say this all the time. Would you rather have these live shows or one of the things that I rant about in a live show to be uploaded to a side channel as a Dan is Not Interesting video once a week? What do you think? I'm meeting you in Liverpool. Thanks, Beth. You're going to have a great time. It's good. It's gonna be fun. You now, you now, side channel, this both. Why not both? Um, why not both? Because I don't have the time or emotional, creative, physical or mental energy to do that. As I've said before, I can just rant about things here as long as I say to you guys that it's waffle that I haven't thought about. It's an articulate. Any opinion that I share in a, in a you now broadcast can be rescinded at any moment because it's just off the top of my head I'm just talking rubbish I don't think I could upload 
something off the top of my head to YouTube because when something isn't live, if I if I have the physical opportunity to prepare for it in any way, I'll spend 10 hours thinking about what I want to say. You know what I mean? What's up with your neck? That's just the light from behind me <laughs> coming onto my neck. Um, so, you know, I could say, hey, today I'm going to talk about this, but then I'd spend 12 hours thinking about how to say it perfectly, and I'd really stress myself out. And I'd be like, oh, is this something that I should make even better and turn into a Dan is not on fire video? And then it turns into something that takes three days. Um, you know, I like the idea of it. I just don't know if I can. I probably could if I had a different attitude or spend my time differently. But it's just not something that I'm thinking about at the moment. Eh. Mm. Mm. Do you play piano much? Badly and to myself, the five songs that I know how to play. Uh, I really want to get piano lessons again. Do a bloopers video, I said this last week, ain't no bloopers. What is on the piano? A nerdy statue of a game that I play. It's a good game. Do, 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 boop. Why do you want to go back to Sweden, <laughs> says Riley T. Because I was only in Stockholm for two and a half days and I only went outside once in the morning when I walked around one specific part of the town. And I love Sweden, and I'm really intrigued by Stockholm, and I liked what I saw, so I really want to go back. There's really... Being in Europe is quite amazing, because there's so many diverse cultures so close to you. I guess in America it's quite similar, you know what I mean? It's like you could go to New York for the first time, you could go to LA for the first time, you could go to Vegas for the first time, but in Europe, because everyone speaks different languages and it's not just one super country, it's a, it's, it's really, you know, incredibly diverse. And it's so easy, it's like, you can literally get an EasyJet flight to any European city for like 17 pounds, and that's like, a train journey into Reading Town Centre and a Burger King that I used to do when I was 16. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you'd need the £16 for the EasyJet flight and then enough money to get a train ticket into St Stockholm City Centre and a Burger King. Um, but there's not any excuse for not travelling, if you can. I'm just saying. It's something that I'd like to do. Da -da. I started the nickname thing. I'm very sorry. Shan, flay yourself with the stick of spam. You look good today. I thanks. I need that because I think I look messy. <laughs> don't don't overreact to words. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to say something a lot more offensive sounding. Uh, but I'm only joking. Everything I say is a joke. I'm a joke. My life is a joke. Today I found out that I scream in my sleep. That's terrifying. I hope you're okay. Uh, hi, Dan, said Rachel Senpai. Thanks. Uh, everybody's just being nice. Um, can you fan me, please? Does that mean, like, you want me to become your fan on you now? I'll fan you with my brain. There we go. A waft of Dan's brain. That's just on my floor. Anyway, uh, that's... <laughs> that was... This video. This video. Proud. Not confidently proud of many things. Anyway, um... Does it offend you when people call you a rat? No, Lexi, because I understand that sense of humour. You need to remember, guys. I've been on the internet for longer than most of you. I'm a pro memer that always hangs out in the dankest corners of the internet and desperately prioritizes staying up to date with pop culture and senses of humor um, to the point where I, I definitely look like I'm trying too hard to understand how to fit in. Uh, but I think that it's worth it to just you know, understand all of the inside jokes on the internet, so uh, the sense of humour of people being rude to people that they like is something I understand. Don't worry. Shout out to the person that tweeted, I look like an emo noodle meme on Twitter. I know that you took that from something that someone else said on Instagram, 
But I can't, like, favourite a comment on Instagram, so I just wanted to favourite it to remember it, because it really made me laugh. Anyway, um... Reviews slash opinions on the second channel. Who knows? Maybe. It's a nice idea. Opinions. Opinions on the second channel. Uh-oh. Who knows? I get so stressed out about opinions. Honestly, even trivial things are fundamentally rooted in things like ignorance. And that just makes me really angry. I just, you know, if I have spare time, I just want to hide in a hole. I want to read a book. I want to play an RPG. I want to just hide in a box. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You look so uncomfortable on your chair. This is a really comfortable chair, actually. To say that it's made of solid plastic, it's actually really comfortable. Boo, boo, boo. I can hear human life outside. I know, disgusting. Um, do, do, do. Is Phil there or just being really quiet? Phil is not in London. Hello, Daniel. Hi, Levine19. Nice rhyming name. Fight me in Plymouth. All right, Phoebe, bring a katana. I'll have a showdown. Don't actually be that person who now brings a katana to my tour. I don't think they'll let you in. Um, <laughs> very exciting. Oh my god. We're in full swing. And everything's a spoiler, so I'm just going to stop talking. Will you ever get a tattoo? No, Blue Coconut, because I don't think that I could ever commit to something. I was having, like... I always have really deep, inspired moments on... This is a, this is a video. This isn't even a side channel video. This is maybe a Dan is not on fire video. Who knows? Um, but the more articulate version where I know what the hell I'm saying. That, like, plane and train journeys are just so inspiring... Because for some reason, whenever I have time at home, it's way too much time in my own head and I'm surrounded by distractions. But there's something about being on a plane or a train, specifically trains, they're just so inspiring. Like, like my mind feels so clear. And like, I'm just productively thinking about things that are important or exciting. Uh, you know what I mean? Um... And I think as I was travelling back from Stockholm on the plane, I was thinking about tattoos. You know when I tweeted that thing about black clothing? Um, maybe it's another thing about tattoos. What was the thought? It was something about, I mean, like, it really says a metaphor about... I feel like if you get a tattoo, you are either you either got drunk and you're, you know, you regretted it and it's silly. Or you just don't think it's that much of a big deal, which is fine. You don't need to think of it as that much of a big deal. But it's a commitment, you know what I mean? It's a commitment to knowing that you like something. If it's like of a band or a quote or a person, you're committing to that, you know what I mean? And I don't want to even commit to the idea of having something on me. It's not that I'd love tattoos, I just don't know what I... I mean, I do love tattoos. I freaking love other people's tattoos. I love other people's tattoos. Um, and everyone's gonna be like, Dan says tattoo weird. Um, <laughs> but it's not even that I can't even decide what to get. It's the, the entire concept of having something on me all the time. Who knows? This, you know, if that was Dan is not on fire video, that would have gone into some other topics that it was related to. Are you excited for, I am not saying that I'm afraid of commitment. I'm saying that I'm unsure I'm, I can't commit to myself because maybe I'm not that confident about my own identity. Wow. Um, come to Belgium. Belgium, I'd love to. Come to Greece. I'd love to. Have I? I don't know. Have you ever shot a gun? No, I shot an air rifle. Does that count? I shot a can in a garden. Hi, Dan. Hi, Keris. Is that how I pronounce your name? Hope so. Your bed is messed up again. Wow. Stop! Bullying me! Sophia, you are my leader. Thanks. Du, 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 du. Not that chorus. Um, hi, Dan. Hi, Dala. <laughs> Come to Michigan. It's, be it's begun. Look at that chat. Wow. Let's read some letters while the Come to Brazil train is... <laughs> I met you a month ago today. Where was I a month ago? Let's see. 25th. Was that why or was it, was it four weeks? I was in LA at VidCon. Ah, prank call Phil? No. I couldn't successfully prank call Phil. Can you still play Nature Boy on piano? 
I've probably forgotten. It's not in my rotation. My rotation of current... It's like, you know, when I remember... I used to be able to play Intermission, but then I just didn't for a year, and I forgot how. Uh, I always love Pyramid Song. It's just a great set of chords. <laughs> no YouTubers come to Wales. I am on the Dan and Phil tour. Go to danandphilbook.com or seektickets.com forward slash Dan and Phil and check for tour tickets in your town in the UK. If tickets run out, then in ask the venue websites because they might have some again. I don't even need to plan the promo. You guys just ask for it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What will the tour be like? It'll be okay. It'll be funny. Uh, 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 uh. Will there be a merch stand? I'd like to think that Martin would have some cool plans. How was your trip? It was nice. Intense. But I don't want to spoil the documentary. Not even... Okay, that every, everything I'm going to say is a spoiler. Uh, 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 uh. Will you play any more Outlast? Why doesn't Dan and Phil Games upload 10 part Let's Play series? Because we do more than gaming. So I can't make a gaming video every day. And I spend way longer editing videos than I need to and other people do. So to play the whole of Outlast would take like a year. And I liked the game. I just don't output the gaming content frequently enough to play the whole thing. Don't know. What about US tour dates? Soon, emoji. How was your day? Quite relaxing, actually. Mm. Why is homework a thing? I was thinking about that earlier. Why is homework a thing? I hate homework. I was thinking about that. I just Homework was awful. Oh my god. It's like, school is horrific, and then they expect you to just do so much more. I mean, when you do GCSEs, or A-levels, which is to the non-England, what you do when you're 17 in school. It's just horrific. You get so much homework. And I'm sure like, like when you get a job when you're older, you get paid for your job. So even if you have to do reluctant overtime or something, at least you're like, well, you know, this is a takeaway that I can order as a bonus because my boss forced me to, you know, or whatever. It's, homework is just like oppression. I don't understand. It's like, Surely they should just be able to get it all done in the school day. I mean, what is it trying to teach people? You know what I mean? It's like the, 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 the reality of life is that no matter what job you have, if it even has schedule or hours, you'll probably end up doing more when you're not at the work hours. You'll be emailing from home. You'll be doing things in the mornings. You'll be doing things late in the evenings, but you have control over your freaking job, you know, some people don't, but most people have the opportunity to choose what they do as a job, so if you don't like it, then you can aspire to change it. It's for retention, says people. Retention. I don't like homework, I just didn't do it, okay? I never did a single piece of homework. And my entire life at school was just so stressful because I had to just explain to my teachers why I didn't do the homework every day. I'm a bad example, though. You should do your homework. Stay in school. Are you excited for Troy's new music? Yes. I want to know who Troy's graphic designer is at his management or record label or friend or whoever it is because Troy's pale way of aesthetic is on point. Isn't it? Mmm. Damn. Do love Troy's branding. Mmm. Yes. It's just really nice. My branding's disgusting. I just don't know where to begin. It's something that I've been aware of for a long time. My Tumblr is acceptable, but it's an HTML car crash because I tried to code it and I didn't know what I was doing and everything's just broken. My Tumblr is horrible. My Twitter... Thankfully, they've taken all of that control away from me, and I have the header for Dan, which is great, so that's sorted. 
Facebook. I've had a fucking photo of me and Phil and Jeremy Kyle for years. What? And my YouTube header, it's just something that I slapped together in Photoshop early 2014. It's, it's something I need to work on. Uh, you know. Maybe I should just DM him. <laughs> Uh, 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 nice chins, thanks. Just wanted to say hi to you. Hi, Yulia. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Who's your favourite YouTuber? Don't have one. Take that! Ha! How are you today? Nice, thanks. Can I bring a Shiba to the tour? I'd like that. Probably not, though. <laughs> do, do, don't become all glitzy, though. What's glitzy? No, no, never glitzy. Just, like, well-designed, you know what I mean? Like, I'd still, I'd want it to reflect my... Don't want to say the A word again. I feel like aesthetic as a word is way too meme -y, so it's kind of annoying to say it too much, you know what I mean? But the thing is, it's actually, like, a word that people use. It's like, I've, we, we're talking about our tour at the moment, and, like, they're like, let's talk about the aesthetic of the tour. And it made me laugh. You know what I mean? Because it's like, huh, aesthetics is this funny word that people use on Tumblr when they make silly pictures. It's actually a word that people use uh, that accurately describes things. Um, yeah, wow. Stop it with the bed. I'm going to be doing that thing that I talked about two weeks ago. I'm going to keep it just because it annoys you. I like an underdog. I'm counterculture. I'm a reverse circle jerk. Why? Psychoanalyze that. Yes, that's the Crush Bandicoot theme. Five Nights at Freddy's. Soon. Just need to have a gander at it. Blame me. But the bed is really annoying. Stop. Awfulness. What about the Chinese economy? Not really up to date with the economy. This is like... Five years ago, I didn't really understand politics. And I feel like I do now. I don't really understand economics, so I feel like I hope I do in five years. I'm really jealous of America having Bernie Sanders to root for, because, I mean, wouldn't that just be a dream come true? Um, that'd be cool. As far as I'm aware, I'm not implying that I'm perfectly well-informed or educated, but in the UK, there's just no Obama, there's no Bernie Sanders. We have a guy called Jeremy Corbyn who's pretty cool. Early days. Uh, 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 uh. School advice for a sad teen. Make friends on the internet and slowly survive. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big topic. Um, mm -mm. We also have Donald Trump. That's incredible, though. You know, America will always have Sarah Palin uh, and Donald Trump. Who knows? What shoes are those I buy the door? There's some white shoes that I bought. Monochrome is okay. It doesn't have to be black, just mainly black. Uh, uh. VU1 got a plaque. Did they actually? That makes me really happy. Um, why must you be a liberal, says Maddie? Because I have empathy for other human beings. Notice me, I'm trash, says Haley Bar. Hi, Haley. Dismaland. Banksy's little Disney thing. I watched a BBC report, and they basically spoiled the entire bloody thing. Um, I'm not going all the way to Western Supermare on a train. You think I go outside? Jesus. Um, I'd like to, though. I like Banksy. You and Phil should get a podcast. We have a fucking radio show. I don't want to... <laughs> um... Oh, oh, the politics the politics gate is open. Remember, kids, this is just me talking shit. <laughs> and the swearing begins. I'm sorry, that feels crude. One of the people that I'm working with on the documentary swears so much. It makes me aware that I don't swear as much as some people do. Constant. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are you drunk, Dan? High on the Ribena. It is wine. <laughs> what is Ribena? It's a black currant juice drink from the UK, I'm guessing. It's quite good. 
you don't really have squash in America as much, do you? It's like, it's just like a syrup that you dilute with water and it just makes the water flavored. But I love it. It's quite good actually, because it's, uh, I feel like in America, is, is there less of it in America? Tell me I'm not wrong. It seems like there's less of it, so it means that people either drink like actual juice or soda. And obviously if you drink fizzy drinks all the time, that's really bad for your teeth and your body because of what's in it. And juice isn't great as well because of the sugar and the acid. So squash is quite good because it makes your drink taste more interesting than water. But you're actually just, I mean, like I'm drinking like that much Ribena and this much water. So you actually, you get through a lot of water. Mm. It's been an hour leave. It's been an hour now because I was late choosing the hashtag. Do you want me to go? Should I leave? <laughs> uh, it's really bad for your teeth. Sugarless. Yeah. I have Fanta Zero as well. No, don't leave. Okay. I feel like this live show has been slower just because I'm being quite slow. <laughs> <sighs> Let's casually read some messages. Did you purchase Yeezys if I had the op? I want the black ones. I saw Kim... Instagramming them. Sweet or salted popcorn? Salted, if I had to choose between them. Sweet and salted is pretty good. Buttered is pretty incredible. For defo. Why is that your hashtag? Because I spent eight minutes thinking of something. From now on... Can I just do, can I just do hashtag humor? I can't. FK Twix Live Lounge. Shut up. Have I missed out on something? Um, of course I'm aware of what the radio station that I've had a show on for three years is doing. Um, that's EP. I want to rant about it on the radio. Dan and Phil, live on the radio, this time next Monday at 9pm BST. Put it in the diary. Next Monday, Dan and Phil radio show at 9 o'clock. Good bants. Uh, but the thing is, on a radio show, you can plan to talk about something, but then the plan changes, so it's not very reliable. Um, but I was listening to that EP some more. Uh, FKA Twigs. She made an EP. It's pronounced Melissa, I think, even though it's got a bunch of numbers in it that made it impossible to search for. Um, it's so good. It's incredible. It's the second best thing to to pimp a butterfly this year and it can never compete with to pimp a butterfly because to pimp a butterfly was dealing with so much more important themes and it was so much grander in scale. You know, that's the difference between a 9 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10. For something to be a 10, it either has to be completely perfect or it has to be epic in some in some way but it's just so incredible i can't even comprehend how it's like she is just making the best music that anyone is currently making at the moment like wow every song is so good mother creep is just like amazing my god my god. Um, read some messages. Canada, Maple Leaf. What are all the stickers that you can put in the chat? Let me see. Can I, can I type lol into my own chat? Lol. There we go. I saw it. Did you watch Fear the Walking Dead? I didn't. Is it good? Because, like, The Walking Dead is amazing and sometimes boring. Generally amazing. And I'm, I'm an optimist. And I'm forgiving, and I'm gentle and kind. So even in the face of other people not liking The Walking Dead, I love The Walking Dead. But I felt like, ooh, there's some filler, and now there's a side show. Oh, I mean, the reason shows are good five seasons in is because you get emotionally invested in the characters. Louis likes it, does it? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Isn't it really funny? Isn't it really funny when some completely obnoxiously famous, utterly unrelatable celebrity says something just slow, like really specific, like Zayn tweeting about a minion jumper, or Louis talking about The Walking Dead or something. Don't you just love it when like some 
colossal celebrity just like talks about something completely random that you watch or listen to or something like that. I always find it very funny. Zayn with the minion jumper though, that was quite good, wasn't it? Mm, do, 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 do. This hair, it's so messy. I can't even I can't even fix it because there's like a two second delay on this godforsaken stream. What's up with that, you now? Are you watching you now? It's probably my internet, isn't it? Wash it then, said Wisdom Hower. If I washed it, it would look a lot messier than it did right now. <laughs> Hi Dan, how was your week? My week was pretty exciting. I went to Stockholm. That was fun, wasn't it? That was good. What else did I do? I uploaded a video with Tyler Oakley. Worked on the project. Good times. How do you feel about 1D splitting up? Are they not going to release an album after Drag Me Down? Is it just one song after Drag Me Down? Is that it? Is it? Are we getting Drag Me Down and then Hiatus? At least we've got one song without Zayn just for- they're okay, they're not split- Hiatus. They're not splitting up, they're just going on hiatus. But you should all emotionally prepare that they might be- Jesus fuck, there are a lot of wonder- Jesus Christ, look at this chat. Wow. Guys, phrasing. I didn't insult your mum. Um, they're going on a hiatus. They might break up halfway through the year. Emotionally prepare for it. Loads of bands go on hiatus. Um, but they might come back one day. Bands always come back on tour. I think that One Direction, I think the four lads will definitely want to make music again together. I'd hope that Zayn would one day. It's just a shame! I really wanted them to, like, actually make some music. They are releasing an album, says someone. Okay, that's good. Guys, what is your problem? I corrected myself. I know that they're not gonna, um... Sp <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, da, 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 da. Your voice is so high pitched, says Blue Fruit Loops. I think I have quite a, a medium to low pitch voice, actually. I think it's a confidence thing. It's quite funny. A lot of YouTubers' voices get higher the longer they're on YouTube. And I think it's when, when someone's a bit less confident, then they're a bit mumbly and whatever. But when people are enthusiastic, their voice just goes up a bit because they're infused. So I think like when people aren't self-aware, then they'll just jump in with both feet into being enthusiastic and that just naturally makes your intonation higher, I think. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Dan, oh, this is, says Tyler. I'm presuming you're not Tyler himself. Said, you were different in the videos between Tyler and Casper, why? I know what you mean, even though that sounds confusing. I think you mean, why did I seem to act slightly different? That's because I do a thing that's really obvious, and you guys will all see this, where I am Dan, I am myself and my own personality, but I always bounce off anyone that I'm with because I want them to like me at the end of the day. So if I'm with Tyler, I will bounce 50% of Tyler channeled through Dan back at him. You know what I mean? Or if it's Casper, then... You know, I, you know, it's about everyone's awing at me because I says like people want me to like them. It's not not like a desperate please like me. No, let's be real. It is a desperate please like me, but it's more about just like naturally making the other person have a better time. You know what I mean? It's like if you're hanging out with someone, they'll probably enjoy your company more and feel happier if you go on their wavelength, you know what I mean? Um, so, with Casper, it was fun to be a bit sarcastic. With Tyler, you know, it was a bit giddy. It's funny. Do you consider yourself an introvert? I don't even know. What's an ambivert? Weird. Um, any music wrecks this week? Literally just been listening to FK Twigs. What did I say? He's like straight out of Compton last weekend. Um, what's new? I need to decide what music I'm playing in the radio show and I just thought of something so I'm gonna write it down because I need to remember the good music I pick. Dan, do you support LGBTQ? Of course. 
Imagine if someone said no. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Seriously, though. Um, okay. Uh, okay, music. What have I been listening to recently? Spotify. I got the Apple Music trial, and I haven't been using it. I listened to some Christine Radio the other day, just because I was up for a laugh. Um, I was listening to some Radiohead yesterday. Radiohead are my favourite band. They're probably, you know, in a lot of people's opinions, the makers of the best music in the world ever. Uh, very clever. I mean, that's that's not objective. You can't say that someone makes the best music, but a lot of critics that like clever music like Radiohead. Um, I love Creep, said somebody. Hilarious. Um, any any Radiohead fans will be having a, a, a jolly giggle at everyone loving Creep. Uh, I was listening to In Rainbows. Actually, I was what, listening to one song from In, In Rainbows is definitely one of my top ten, top five? Top ten definitely favourite albums of all time. It's incredible. Um, Radiohead's music means a lot to me personally. I get quite... You know, well, I don't get, emo I'd get emotional if I listen to My Chemical Romance because I'd be like, oh god, it's a flashback to being 14. That's in a box under the stairs. And also just, you know, emotional songs. But, you know, Radiohead speaks to me in like a raw emotional way. So I don't like get sad or like emotional. But it just, it really, it goes right through into my spirit. And I, I feel it through all of my pores. Dan, leave. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Du, 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 du. There's horses. Nice. Uh, they have so many emojis in here. Dan, I started school yesterday. Help me. What do you want for help? Please leave. I need to shave my legs. <laughs> okay. Guys, the request has come. Um, there were some things that I wanted to mention for me to just be boring. No, I said it all. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing a live show next week. Sorry. Uh, this is very random. But Phil and I, and a bunch of our pals, they're in the single digits, don't worry guys, uh, are going on a spontaneous holiday for a few days next week, which wasn't planned, kind of just tacked ourselves onto it, because um, the tour and the book is all going to be happening, so I might just sleep for four days, so uh, I'm not going to be here next Tuesday, probs. So, soz about that. Hey, it's an extra long one because I'm not going to be here next Tuesday. There we go. I'll do. I'll give you something to make up for it. Ba 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 ba. Vlog the holiday. That's not a holiday. <laughs> Dan, I'm a llama. Said somebody in the chat. That's nice. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hmm. I start college next Tuesday. Good luck. Thank you for the hair compliment. Thanks, Maddie, for the hair compliment. Thanks, Javon, for the hair compliment. Thanks, Lexi, for calling me a rat. Thanks for the compliment, Hannah. That's a nice thing to say. Watch X-Men First Class so we can discuss. Was that the first one of the new generation? I loved that film. Was it? The one with James McAvoy in it, the first one. What a great film. Second one was a bit of a cluster fluff. The first one was, was really great. Uh... uh... Da, 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 da. You've got that one thing, says MacJo98. Thanks, that means a lot. Um, oh, the 7 second challenge. There was an update where we put in a bunch of your guys' challenges. It was a thing we said we'd do. If you don't follow the 7 second challenges official Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, or Instagram, whatever one you like to use the most, they asked you guys to actually submit your own challenges. And we've just put a whole bunch of them in the game. So if you did that, then check the app because they now might be in the game. And we also added a little refresh button that you can use to change the challenge, because sometimes it will say, like, touch the walls, and you're outside, and you're like, well, there are no walls, what could I do, or something. We'll stand up and down ten times, and you're strapped to a bed. Who knows? But there's a little, um, there's a little refresh button. I don't know if you can see it there. You can press it, and the challenge changes. And other stuff. Um, thanks for that. 
and yeah, okay, thank you for joining me. I will go now because it's been an extra 15 minutes, and someone needs to shave their legs, people. Then did you watch Shameless? I used to watch a lot of it, it just went on, didn't it? It was good though, quite iconic representation of Manchester. A looking snazzy, thank you YouTube Vogue. Do you, do you run YouTube Vogue? Put me in it. Uh, play piano please. No peer pressure. Spotify updates. None. Just been listening to FK Twigs. I will have something next time. Do you appreciate sarcasm from your audience? Yes. I love it. It makes me feel proud to have an audience that shares my sense of humour, which I think is... It stands out, and I love it. Um, I have to get up at 5am for work for tomorrow. I had to get up at 4am to fly to Stockholm, so I win. Um, good luck, though. Reminds me of working at Asda. Uh, thanks for bringing back the earrings. Thanks, I found them. I'm not going to wear them all the time. Depends on the outfit. If I'm wearing a lot of black, it just seems like it goes with it. You know what I mean? I forced the 7 second challenge for my parents. Thank you. Hi, so my name is Dan. No need to you know, bully me before I go. No need to bring things back. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Dan, when you end the show, does it mean that you're going to die asking the real questions here? Thank you for joining me. Um, it's been a long show. So thank you to anybody that has stuck with it the whole time. I hope you're having a nice week. I hope you're having a nice day. Look forward to the videos that me and Phil are going to post before we go away for a few days. Have a nice life. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Ciao.